for the hearing impaired. Regina Mobley, Karen Jones, and Brian Smith. This is 13 News at 11. Newport News police get a fast break and a fast food crime spree in Hampton Roads. Keeping the peace turns dangerous in Bosnia after a U.S. soldier rides over a mine. And Virginia Beach is skating with the idea of a permanent ice rink at the oceanfront. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. Thanks for joining us. For months, armed gunmen have been terrorizing several fast food restaurants in Hampton Roads, but it appears their crime spree is over. As David Prant tells us, a teenager in the right place at the right time helped police crack the case. Workers at this McDonald's are feeling lucky this morning. Lucky they didn't lose their lives during a robbery Friday. Just minutes before midnight, almost closing time, two men hiding in a bathroom emerged carrying guns and approached the manager. There were four additional employees working at the counter that were forced down on the floor while the manager was forced to open the safe and the robbery occurred. What the robbers didn't count on was a quick-thinking 16-year-old who was waiting for a friend to get off work. He realized the robbery was taking place Place. He ran out the door across the street to this Wendy's and called 911. I wasn't scared. I wasn't angry. I was just, I don't know what. I just had an instinct to run when I heard that pistol cop. Within minutes, police were on the scene. They caught one man leaving the back door. The other ran next door, where a female suspect was waiting in a getaway car. After a short pursuit, the man abandoned the car and fled. The woman, however, did not escape. Now police think they've solved more than one crime. In dealing and talking with other robbery detectives in the Tidewater area, very similar robberies have taken place in other jurisdictions. Like the robbery at this Virginia Beach McDonald's about two weeks ago. Just like last night's robbery, the suspects hid in the bathroom till closing. But in this case, they shot one of the employees. Newport News police say police in three other cities are eager to question the suspects in hopes of solving this disturbing string of robberies. David Brandt, 13 News, Newport News. The two suspects in custody are identified as 39-year-old James Riddick and 21-year-old Mercedes Danza. Police are not releasing their pictures until witnesses and other crimes have been able to see the suspects in a lineup. Two teenagers are under arrest tonight for leading police on a pursuit through two cities. That chase ended with an accident on Portsmouth on 264 near Frederick Boulevard. Police say the pursuit, which never reached high speeds, began in Suffolk and lasted about 40 minutes before the driver wrecked. The driver, a 16-year-old boy, was taken to a nearby hospital as a precaution, then released into police custody. Both teenagers are charged with eluding police, reckless driving, and grand larceny. Norfolk police arrested a suspect in a Labor Day shootout that left one man dead. 22-year-old Richard Ricardo Rogers of Virginia Beach is charged with murder and use of a firearm. Police say he was involved in a quadruple shooting at Club Expressions on Princess Anne Road in Norfolk. 19-year-old Timothy Thomas was killed in that shootout. Last year at this time, this was the scene outside the Hillcrest Abortion Clinic in Norfolk. A lone gunman sprayed the Bel Air building with semi-automatic gunfire. Police say that suspect, John Salvi, opened fire in Norfolk the day after he murdered two people at Boston Abortion Clinics. That was one year ago today. John Salvi will be tried in Massachusetts February 5th. His lawyer sought unsuccessfully to have him declared mentally incompetent to stand trial. After that trial, Salvi could be returned to Norfolk to face charges related to the Hillcrest shooting. Well, it's not going to be such a happy new year for state prisoners. Beginning Monday, prison officials are cracking down on inmate possessions. Prisoners will be required to surrender all personal items, such as typewriters, colored t-shirts, and even wedding rings. The Department of Correction says the new rules are needed to prevent fire hazards and that no single incident prompted the restrictions. However, the rules come seven months after the discovery of a loaded handgun and a typewriter on death row. That incident raised concerns about the department's ability to control the flow of contraband. In Chicago, an early morning fire has left six people seriously injured. We have to warn you, the video you are about to see is very graphic. The three-story apartment building filled with smoke as firefighters helped people escape. 
one family threw their four-year-old granddaughter to safety. The girl, who had been staying with her grandparents for the holiday, is in fair condition. A nine-year-old boy from another family is in critical condition. Investigators say someone started the fire, but they're not sure if it was arson. Two Dallas boys are dead tonight after they were killed for trying to steal hubcaps off a car. Police say this man shot the boys with an assault rifle when a silent alarm on his car set off his pager. A third boy was also shot and is in serious condition. The suspect has been charged with two counts of murder and malicious wounding. The Bosnia peacekeeping mission has claimed its first U.S. casualty. A 23-year-old soldier from Rockville, Maryland, was severely injured when his military vehicle was driven over, drove over an anti-tank mine near a northern Bosnian town. His vehicle was reportedly destroyed. Another soldier was unhurt. The incident happened about 30 miles north of U.S. headquarters. Sava River, as a four-vehicle patrol was conducting a reconnaissance mission near a main U.S. route from the river into the U.S. sector. And those of us who were on it, that's Route Arizona. The injured soldier was riding in the lead vehicle, a Humvee, when it was struck a TMM-1 anti-tank blast mine. The soldier is in stable condition tonight at a mobile military hospital in Croatia. In Washington, budget talks have broken up for the night with no agreement on getting the federal government running again. President Clinton and Republican lawmakers called off talks about an hour ago. They had been discussing a plan to get furloughed employees back to work while the balanced budget talks continue. They say they've made some progress tonight, but still there's a long way to go. Talks will resume in the morning. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill will continue to receive their full paychecks, but a North Carolina congressman says he'll give up his weekly pay to help furloughed federal workers in his district. Republican Congressman Charles Taylor will make available about $10,000 a month for emergency no-interest loans. Well, here at home, Virginia Beach is known for its oceanfront attractions and fun in the sun activities. Now it's carving a niche as a wintertime hotspot. Priscilla Monte reports on how an ice rink is warming up business at the boardwalk. Starship Ice Rink has landed at the oceanfront and is pumping new life into the usually chilly winter economy. Skaters of all ages are learning the highs and lows of this northern thrill. I was born myself in New England, so I used to play in the, my backyard. We had a pond. So this is great. It's like almost reliving my youth. What would you and your friends normally be doing on a Saturday afternoon? Watching TV, watching just TV, playing Nintendo, doing something, hanging out. But this is better. I like it. For seven-year-old Alex Grant, these laps are a lesson in persistence and concentration. Just, just pull your feet together. That's about the same advice the owners have been getting. After pumping $1 million into this big bubble, they had to convince people the ice was hot. This is the, the first, world's first transportable indoor ice rink. So it's, it, it, you, we could take it to the islands, we could take it anywhere and uh, set it up anywhere, anytime. Starship Ice is paying 5% of its gross revenue to the city as part of its lease for this oceanfront land. So far, they've earned about $30,000 in just the month they've been open. So City Council Member Linwood Branch figures if this rink stays here year-round, this property will bring in a lot more money than the $60,000 it did as a parking lot. Family fun is what we're all about, and any time we can get a new attraction here in Virginia Beach, uh, we're going to do the best we can to keep it here. And these kids will do their best to keep from landing here. Priscilla Monte, 13 News, Virginia Beach. The rink's lease runs through March 31st, but if City Council approves, it could become a permanent attraction at the oceanfront. Still ahead tonight on 13 News, updating a New Year's tradition at Times Square. We'll get the ball rolling on that story when we come back. Do it. Who will?